welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am introducing the new candy box die and our new stitched labels. So let's go ahead and learn how to assemble this box. So the first thing you're going to need to do is run your candy box die through your die cut machine and you'll see you have one piece and then you need to run it through a second time to be able to assemble the whole box. So now I have my second piece of my candy box all cut and you'll see that the die actually creates the score lines for you, which is so awesome. It makes putting it together really, really easy. So the first step is to fold it in half. And I like to use a bone folder to really crease those edges just to get a nice, sharp, crisp box. Then I'm going to fold down the top edges, the little scalloped edges, just like that, and then do the same to the other side. And then I'm going to fold down the little tabs. So you'll see I'll just fold that one in the middle, the large one, and then the two side ones are quick and easy. And once again, I'm going to use my bone folder again to really crease those down. And now that I've completed this box, I just need to repeat the same thing for the other side of the box. So I'll just fold down the middle and I'll fold those edges down and crease those really well and then I will fold down the tabs. And once you do this once, it goes by so quickly, you can make a ton all at once. And now it's time to add the adhesive, and you wanna make sure that you use really strong adhesive, and you're gonna add that adhesive to all of the tabs on both of your die cut pieces. Then you can peel the backing off to expose the adhesive and you're going to adhere these two pieces together. And it's actually really easy to do. You can either just line up the tops of the two die cut pieces or you can also look at those diamonds there and make sure you're forming an even, even diamond and it's going to help you line it up every single time. It's really quick and easy to do. And then once you've done this part, the next part is really easy. So you'll just expose that adhesive one more time. You're going to fold the box in half, and now this part's just going to line up perfectly. All you need to do is fold it over and press down, and you have your box all assembled. The next step for the box is to tie some twine, or you could use ribbon or anything else, any kind of string that you'd like. Just tie it around the edge. So I like to tie it down like this, and once I get uh, my box nicely and evenly taut there, I'm going to then tie another knot. And this makes it a lot easier to tie the bow later on. So once my knot's there, I know my box is secure and I can tie my bow or whatever else. You could even leave it without a bow if you wanted a more masculine look on it. And then you'll just repeat it for the other side. So once again, tie a knot, cinch that box down, and then double knot it. And now you're ready to decorate as you please, add a tag, add a bow, etc. So I'm just gonna tie some cute little bows at the end of this box. And I just love how this turns out. This candy box is so adorable. It's so cute, perfect for gifts, treats, jewelry, anything that you can think of. Um, it's just absolutely adorable. So next, I wanted to show you the stitched label dies. I love these dies. They've got a great little detail and they're perfect for the candy box. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna lay them on top of the die so you can see how perfectly they fit inside the box. So now I decided to make a box out of our new Let's Polka Mon Ami papers and I wanted to create one with a window using the oval stitch label die. So I'm gonna take that die and place it in the opening there that has the tabs and you need to do this to make sure that the hole is completely open so you'll run it through your die cut machine and you'll see there that you'll want the opening to be on the little tabby side and then i am just cutting some acetate you could use packaging or transparency uh, anything like that and i'm just going to put some really strong adhesive around my die cut opening and add that acetate piece. And now I'm gonna have this cute little candy box with a window to be able to see the treats inside. And now I'm going to fold my candy box pieces just like I did before, adhere the two pieces together, and then go ahead and fold it over and attach those. And you'll see how cool that window looks. I just love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and tie my little double knot there at the end of my treat box. And then it's ready to be filled with treats inside. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put some jelly beans, but you could do pistachios or trail mix or any other kind of fun treats that you could think of. So I'm just going to pour these jelly beans. Uh, you'll see I, I kind of got into the jelly bean bag. I ended up eating the props. I couldn't help it. I just love sour candy. <laughs> so I went ahead and filled that bag with jelly beans and I'm going to put it inside my little treat box. And now I'm ready to tie the other end. And, um, and I just love this. It's a really cute look and a really fun way to present a little gift. So I'll cinch it down and then tie my double knot. And then I can tie a cute bow on this end too and finish my little package. And so I wanted to show you here a comparison to the other uh, goodie box that we did, how you can see how you could layer the stitch label on top or use the negative. So it's cool, you can get two uses out of the one die. Uh, one fun way to decorate these little boxes is to add cute stamped images to the windows. Uh, but this one, I decided to just leave it plain because I thought it looked cute with those fun colored jelly beans in there. Now I'm assembling another box and I wanted to show you what happens sometimes. You're gonna see I'm gonna tie it and sometimes the box caves in on itself a little bit. All you need to do is stick your finger in and just pop it right back out and it'll look perfect. Now one way I love using these candy boxes is to present gift cards. When you buy them online, you know you have to print them out and they end up on computer paper. So I'm just using this little paper to kind of show what one of those would look like. And this is a nice way to present something like an online gift card. So I just roll up a little printed image inside and now I can tie the edge just like I did before. You'll see, you'll see I'm gonna stick my thumb in there, pop it up since it collapsed a little bit there since all we have inside there is a little piece of paper and once again tie my double knot and now I have a really really cute pa gift package ready to go now I thought it'd be fun to add a little tag to this using fanciful frames and I'll show you guys how to make this tag in another video I think it's such a cute little tag and these frames are just perfect for adding that little extra touch to these candy box gifts so I like to thread it through the twine there and uh, tie a knot and then tie a bow. And you can see just how cute that turns out and I think this little gift would make anyone's day. And here is a little look at both of the candy boxes. I can't wait to see what cool things you guys come up with for these. So this is our candy box dies and our stitched labels. And I love that you can do plain candy boxes, you can add tags to them, you can use the labels to cut out negative circles or even add labels to the boxes. Those labels I think would be really cute as cupcake toppers or even for sentiments on cards. There's so many fun things that you can do with these and I cannot wait to see what you guys do with them. So I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.